Hello everyone, my name is Stacy. Welcome back to my channel and hello to all the new subscribers that I've had uh, lately. I appreciate you stopping by. I have two projects to share with you. This is my design team project for Calico Collage uh, for the month of June and we have the beekeeper uh, kit here. Now these are some of the um, ephemera uh, sheets that come in the kit. I'll just give you a little idea. I didn't have any sheets left printed up of the papers itself, but I printed the kit twice. These are these gorgeous. It's a nice soft yellow and floral and lots of bees. And there's some great um, journaling cards and tags in there. So those are just a, a few of what you get in the kit. But I've printed it, like I said, twice and I've done two different takes. So now this style here is I upcycled a hardcover book and I've turned this into a bullet style, bullet journal style, uh, junk journal. And this one here is more of a grungy style with a soft cover. And we'll, I'll get, just so you can see right away what I'm talking about. So, like I said, this is an upcycled book. I have added this really cool little charm here of this bee. And this comes off, it's just a brass uh, ring here for a charm and I just, did a dangle of lots of little fabrics and trims and sari silk, rick rack. And the cover of these are both the same fabric. It's the Tim Holtz fabric. Um, a lot of people may have this scrapbook paper. There's the back. This one has four signatures. So when I say bullet style, this one has more of a fresh take on the kit. So when we go right in here, uh, we have the front here is sort of like a folio. It's got some bits and pieces here from the kit. This is from the Flow Magazine Paper paper Lovers pack. I just thought the colors went really nice and give you a little envelope there that to write on. And this one's from the kit. So this one I have not done any coffee staining. The backs of everything are white. I have done some stitching. So I've did like quite a bit of stitching throughout. Um, all of these tabs have been stitched on. Okay, so right in here I've used a file folder. And inside here you have goodies that you can use in your journal. Um, I've turned the ephemera bits into stickers. So these are all backed on sticker paper. So, And there's little tags. Those are also from the Flow magazine. And here's another piece from the kit some stitched fabric on there and like I said these are clear stickers here's one here that I've decorated here and this one I've done on regular sticker paper and this one is clear so that you can decorate it wherever you wish and this this was from the kit and I have just put all the bees in here save the bees and I've got all the bees in this little bag here there are a few decorated here's what uh, one of the clear sticker ones look like right there and here's another one here. Those ones are the clear ones. And I've just decorated a little bit. So these are vellum pockets stitched and a few little pieces from the kit. And I've used a time card here to uh, make a pocket. There's another journaling card in here. Just a little tag. This is a vintage air mile, air mail, air miles, <laughs> air mail envelope. And then this was uh, some stationery that I had that had um, like a faint image of a beehive and a bee. So I've just put those little goodies in there. So here's uh, one of the pages from the kit and I've backed everything with, so you can see this sort of yellow grid. Um, I think there's yellow and green grid in this one and I've used more of that stationary paper. Um, this is also like traveler's notebook paper from Midori that I took apart. And uh, so you get like lots of different, this is from Flow Magazine, the Flow Paper Pat. And then the black paper, this looks really gorgeous with the white pen next to uh, the images. And like a, these, I never cut these down. I've kept the fresh look of the edges so that you could get the full, the full page in this because it fit really well in this book cover that I had. Uh, here's again, an example of the green grid. And then I've put some tracing paper in there for additional journaling and there's the yellow so here's another image of the kit and I've added you know just some different pages here's a piece from the kit it's stitched around but all the backs are left white so it's just a little bag here 
whoops, this keeps coming undone here. This is a little note, like post-its. And here again, here's a, one of the clear stickers. I've done some decorating there. And some more of the black paper. Here's a postcard from my, uh, the New York Botanical Gardens collection that I have. And here's another little guy from the kit. So I've just, for this style of journal, I've just sort of clipped everything in. I haven't done any major decorating because bullet style, I'm leaving it more for, um, this was a paint chip. I and mean, I've just, this is a piece of vintage book paper. I've done a little bit of decorating there. But like for, for a bullet journal, you kind of want to do your own thing. So I, there's not a lot of decorating at all. Um, I've added, stitched, this was pockets from the, the kit and I've stitched around where you can decide where you want them. There's another B from, that I've printed on sticker paper. Just to give you an idea, there's another, this is a gorgeous page from the kit. It's got lines on it. I, I thought that black paper went really well with this kit. I like using um, black paper in some of my traveler's notebooks with my white pen. So you get a variety of different styles. There's a coloring page. Here is a tuck spot. If you've seen previous videos, you know how much I love grid paper. <laughs> Grid's my favorite. It's flipped. It's all pretty much the same. I just want you to get an idea of how pretty her pages are. set it up so that they're kind of all of the the setup is kind of the same for each signature that's gorgeous next to the black paper again uh, here's a coloring page that had bees on it Got lots of journaling space on the back there's a little tuck spot with some fabric on it Another image, another postcard. So, some, some more ephemera, and I've used these um, sort of clips here. Just thought it, uh, you know, some nice uh, clips to clip everything in. That's beautiful. I really enjoyed working with this kit uh, so much, that's why I made two. <laughs> there's another uh, right up there, and there's lots of space to start another signature. You could do, um, you know, like a title page here. There's another cute little card, and I've stitched around this tag, this large jumbo tag. I love when she puts the jumbo tags in the kits. They're just so much fun to work with. This is also from the Flow paper pad. This is just an envelope. There's nothing in this one. So and then there's some little tickets from the kit. Another pretty image. Lots of space to write on them. Another tag. Um, here's some little, these are little bits from the kit as well. They're on sticker paper. And I've just had a few pieces of my collection that I added in there. There's another image. And then we get to the back. Another, I love this page. Um, so then again, you have, this isn't a follow, it's just the back is flat and I've added you know some more of the clear stickers and I've added some labels from my collection as well um, extra little black paper clips and this is a vintage date do sticker and just some more labels and tags and lots of obviously still in the, the vellum stitched pockets here just to go with the flow of the front of the book so yeah so this was just my uh, version of a, a you know a bullet journal type thing and uh, just sort of a clean take on the kit. So I'll, I'll show you um, one with more of the coffee staining. So this one here is a soft cover and I've made this with a file folder. So there's a file folder in there and I've just, I've just done some messy stitching around and I've done two signatures. And this one again has a bee, nice big bee charm. 
and it's the same fabric, exactly the same setup, only this one is, it appears bigger because it's got this trim around it. So it's got the elastic closure, and inside, like, I've, like I said, I've kept these fairly simple, so the backs are flat for writing. I'll just pull this down here, sorry guys, that's so loud. Um, I didn't do any additional pockets here so that it would lay nice and flat here. So here's one of the images here, and some little threads. Um, I've added uh, vintage ledger paper in here. I've turned it into a pocket. Here's some ledger, or no, uh, vintage book pages that I thought went really well. And I did add some of the black pages as well, just because I thought they went really nice with some of the vintage pages. And uh, here's a piece from the kit. I've added, again, some some more little goodies from my stash. And of course, here's the vellum, the Tim Holtz vellum that matches the fabric on the front. And these are paper bag pages, some more vintage ledger. This is a vintage book page. Um, this is some Tim Holtz scrapbook paper. So it's just a, a little bit of a different take. This is vintage pa uh, pager, paper as well. I love this stuff. This stuff feels really nice. It's really nice to write on. And I've stamped on all the coffee paper, um, this little honeycomb. I have a honeycomb stamp, so all the pages have that. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a light honeycomb stamping that I've done there. And they pretty much all have that on there. Here's some uh, extra book pages from old encyclopedias that I had about bees. Could they be great for collaging? Here's another pocket. And I, the reason I added these paint chips in it because it said uh, barely butter, honey bee, honey pot. I just thought those were fun. You can journal on the back. I've added coffee paper to the back of that one. Another tuck spot with some trim. There's another one. So lots of various sizes in the pages. This one flips out. Here's a little tuck spot. And some journaling cards. I've done a little bit of decorating here with uh, the elements. Here's another vintage book page. I've just tucked it into this little tuck spot here that I made with the, I stitched in the um, the tickets. That's all stitched there. Vellum. So it's still, it's still fairly basic. You could make it your own. It's just has more of the grungy pages and the vintage papers as opposed to any grid pages. Oh, I forgot to cut that. I have to cut that yet. And then uh, seal the edges on that yet. Again, there's the vellum that matches the print cover of the fabric. A nice little tag at the top. This is my favorite. I have a nice big stack of this ledger paper. I try to use it as often as I can. Uh, this was an Edith Holden postcard that I had in my stash and it had some bees on it. Tim Holtz paper. Um, here's a bag that I've added. Just a journal card from the kit. There's a couple little banners in there for decorating. There's another vintage book page on B. There's more on the back. Good for collaging. Music paper. There's a little tuck spot. And here's another one of the big tags backed with the ledger. And coffee paper. More stitching. There's a tuck spot. There's another one of those postcards. I've done a little bit of decorating here. Nice big fabric tab there. The other side of that bag, I've added another stitched jumbo tag there. Nice big bag. Oops. So the black pages look, they go really nice in here too. I don't, you can collage over them or use a white pen. There's some more 
vintage book pages with bees on it and some guest checks. So this pocket here, it, it opens up. So I'm trying to get in frame here. It opens up like this, but with it folded, it looks like two pockets. Because this ledger paper is really long, so I either have to cut it or try and fold it up unique in a unique way that it doesn't get wasted. And there's the other side of that vellum. Again, and there's the back. So that is my two takes on the same kit. So bullet journal and a soft cover journal. These are in my shop and they are part of my flash sale. So um, yeah, I'll leave the link below if you're interested in either one. And I will make sure that you have a link to this kit if you decide to try this kit out for yourself. I'd love to see how you use it. And let me know what you think. What do you guys think? Uh, bullet journal or junk journal, grungy, soft or hardcover? I always like to try uh, to find out what people prefer because I'm kind of a hardcover. Kind of person but some people are into soft covers and just let me know what you think thanks again for stopping by and we'll be back soon thanks